morning. Did you miss me? I missed you. It's uh, Friday. I planned to vlog earlier this week, but we're throwing our first competition here at 3rd Street. And then I realized the last couple of vlogs, which shout out to y'all for showing the love on them, uh, have all been deadlift days. And I do deadlift twice a week, but I didn't want to like only show y'all deadlift. So we got an upper body push day today. If you want to get involved, we're going to talk a little bit of discipline. I had a little TikTok. I can't get anything to go viral in my life, but we got a little push on TikTok. And y'all y'all got really butt hurt. And not like you guys, because you guys are with me. But like the internet got really butt hurt about it. You tell one person that they're not Mr. Discipline Tough Guy and they get so hurt. Fragile. Soft, man. But give this thing a thumbs up. Bench, overhead, triceps. We're gonna get real. We're gonna chat a bit. And then we're gonna set up for a meet. We got our first deadlift only competition here at Third Street. Good company. Let's get it. Buckle in, we gotta talk. Little bench, 315 for the first time. I've been benching about twice a week, but not really caring, so sometimes I'll do dumbbells or a machine. I've been going feet up, because I just don't care. Today we're like, all right, F it. So 315 for a couple doubles and a triple. A little chest press, a little triceps, a um, little shoulder. Cake day, we got the meat, so I gotta set up, but I wanted to talk to y'all. And I'm gonna go on a little ranty poo, but this ranty poo isn't really for you, Cause you guys know what I'm about, but I've been trying to go on TikTok, and I don't know if people are just new there and all egoed out. And now I'm I'm not like entitled. I mean I am in some senses for sure we all are, but I'm not like entitled that everyone should listen to what I have to say. But I do get frustrated on on short content because people don't listen to it. And then, and then because it's 10 seconds or whatever, they can't grasp it unless they listen to the podcast. So long story. I posted a clip from a podcast I did with Barton Geo. Shout out to the family. Get Close podcast, brand new. And we just were going about discipline. And so I, I talked some shit on discipline. I talked some shit about these fitspos and all these people on the internet. And, and I've done this kind of stuff for a long time because I don't agree with like the I'm going to war mentality when you're going to the gym. Now it's fine to get fired up. It's time to be intense passionate, scream a little bit, love that. A little bit animalistic, a little primal in the gym, by all means. But don't think you're a tough guy because you lift weights. And the same thing goes for discipline. Now, the other thing that you guys know, but maybe they don't know, is I don't have a script. I don't write essays. Uh, I'm not a doctor, this isn't my thesis. I'm speaking off the top of the dome on topics that I've spoken about for 12 years on the internet and even longer in person when I coach basketball and clients, etc. And my simple point was that doing something that you enjoy or that is easy is not discipline. And I make some analogies around that. I make like a joking one, but it, it got cut off, so it doesn't sound like a joke, but I was basically getting at it. If you have anger issues and you allow your anger to take over your life, then you're not disciplined. 
The other point of the long talk of discipline is that some things can take discipline. That doesn't mean you are disciplined. I can eat a healthy food. I can have a salad. One salad doesn't mean I am now health. You have to do that on a regular, consistent basis. So these people's point was, oh, I, I love the gym, but some days I don't want to go. Every once in a while, I wake up and I don't want to go, but I make myself go. I'm super disciplined. Bitch, you ain't. You ain't. You love going to the gym. It's a privilege to go to the gym. This is man-made, made-up exercise because we don't have to hunt buffalo no more. And you went one time on a rainy day where you didn't feel like squatting and you squatted. And now you want to pat yourself on the back like you're some hero? Come on, man. Discipline in your financials. Discipline in your relationships. Discipline in your, in your self-awareness and your growth of who you are. Yeah, working out isn't easy for everyone. That's another point is I specifically said in the clip, Hey, you motherfuckers with barbell tattoos saying that you're disciplined from the gym. If you get a barbell tattoo, that thing's about, you're about it, right? I didn't mean everyone, because going to the gym for many folks is very difficult. And that's why I also preach that lifting weights doesn't have to be for everyone. You can bike ride, you can swim, you can play basketball, you can play soccer, find an activity you do enjoy or hate less and do that. I'm just about movement, I'm about health, I'm about longevity. Consistency over the long term. If you hate squatting, don't squat. I'm not squatting right now. I don't hate it, I just don't want to squat, so I'm not squatting. So I'm deadlifting, I'm benching, I'm you know, doing chin-ups, I'm, I'm riding my bike. Long story short, these guys have no clue. And then when I kind of clap back at them, they literally say, well, I must not understand what you mean. Yeah, you don't. Because you guys watched one TikTok clip and thought about discipline for the first time in your life. I think about discipline every day. How I can, how I can get better myself, how I can help others find routine and consistency and build that discipline, how we can, choose our, 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 and, and, and use our willpower in different areas of our life and how we can find that balance and, and find the joy in the process as we talked about in the last video. It's not easy and I don't have the answers, but I do speak my mind because I've thought about things. Now I haven't written it out like a thesis, so maybe sometimes I misspeak and I've definitely been wrong. Not many, but I've been wrong. Long story short, man, I'm not the most disciplined person in the world. I struggle with food a lot. But working out's easy, man. I talked about the last one. When it's not easy, I, I do take off. But that doesn't also mean just because I skipped a workout because I didn't want to work out that I'm all of a sudden not disciplined. You eat salads every single day. One day you have a cookie and all of a sudden you're not disciplined. It doesn't work that way. Just stop tying your ego and your identity, identity to one thing. The barbell, being lean, being strong. If I did that, I'd be done, man. I've been deadlifted 700 pounds in five, four years. My identity would be done, man. I'm a human, I'm a son, I'm a friend. I think I have a kind heart. I think I can be fun to be around. I struggle with negativity, so I try to spread positivity. That's who I am. I'm Mike Farr, man. That's it. I appreciate you guys. New video every single Tuesday, man. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one, fam.